So let's talk about conditioning. So we are not actually talking about this kind of hair conditioning, which is something totally different. Conditioning is a very important psychological theory proposed by Ivan Pavla. So this theory focuses on the relationship between stimulus and response. And there are two different kinds of conditioning. One is classical conditioning, the other one is operant conditioning. So I will think, uh, talk about con classical conditioning first. This kind of classical conditioning, we usually use an example about a dog. If you present a, a meat to the dog, the dog will start salivate. It's a natural response, which is why we say uh, the meat is unconditioned stimulus. Every time you present the meat, the dog will start to salivate. So salivation is unconditioned too, because this relationship is very natural. Also, with, we will talk about the bell ring. So bell ring has nothing to do with the meat. If you ring the bell, the dog will hear it, but it doesn't actually has anything to do with the meat. So there's no notable response. In this case, bell ring is something neutral. We call it a neutral stimulus. During conditioning, what you do is Every time you present the meat to the dog, you will ring the bell. So you would do that a couple of times over a long period of time, such as six months, every day. So in this case, the salivation is still unconditioned. But after you repeat the same kind of activity after a long time, eventually, you don't have to present the meat. You just ring the bell, the dog will start to salivate. In this case, there is no meat involved in this response. So in this case, salivation is actually conditioned to the ring bell. So in this case, the ring bell is a conditioned stimulus and salivation is a conditioned response. So this is classical conditioning. So next we will talk about operant conditioning, which is proposed by B.F. Skinner. A famous psychologist. So this is actually a theory of learning that focuses on the rewards and the punishment of behavior. So the main idea is there are two different kind of behavior. The behavior followed by pleasant consequences and the behavior followed by unpleasant consequences. So the behavior followed by pleasant consequences such as some kind of reward is more likely to be repeated. However, the behavior followed by unpleasant consequences such as punishment is less likely to be repeated. It seems like a very simple. For example, we have this uh, experiment. There's two different buttons, one red button and one green button, which is uh, set for this mouse. If you push a green button, there's gonna be food come out from the wall. But if you push red button, there's gonna be electric waves released. So the mouse is gonna feel the pain. In this case, every time the mouse push the red button, it's gonna be electrified. So the mouse becomes scared and will never push the red button. Red button. But the green button means there's gonna be food come out so the mouse will always click the green button. So this is operant conditioning. So here is a question. Since this is the advertising class, can you tell me how can we apply the two different types of conditioning to advertising? And can you think of an example in advertising that apply either classical conditioning or operant conditioning to their message.